There's also an interesting argument by someone talking about how small banks doing uh, creating credit is better for the economy because it creates actual real economy productivity because they're in the like the footprint of a, a certain place now central bank um cryptocurrencies would like intercept that and ruin small bank credit loaning and then kind of ruin economy stuff hmm because then the central banks would be doing the loaning instead of other banks. And then it kind of mix up the, the leveraging of credit from central banks to banks so that banks could loan rather than just keep it into that central bank and it kind of skews the skewers, you know? I see. Yes, sir. Maybe one day we won't need them. Need no central bank. DeFi, bitches. See, that's what I was saying. Like, people say that, and there's still, I want to, like, read people's arguments and stuff, but, like, what what, is, what does DeFi do that, that alleviates central bank stuff? Um, first of all, gets rid of those nasty, well, actually, maybe DeFi would have fees because there'd be minor fees, but they'd be very minimal. And also... Like, you wouldn't have to worry about, like, hopefully your money being intercepted by the government because, you know, the central bank is, like, has to, like, follow laws and stuff, so. And not, I mean, yeah, also in America, but mostly other countries, like, central banks are just really fucking corrupt. How so? There's this one country, I want to say Laos, where the government was so in debt that they asked some country, I might be fucking this up, they asked some country for a loan, and the country said they would only like do it if the fucking government started draining the bank accounts of its citizens. So everyone's bank account was locked, and the government just started draining their money away, and they couldn't do anything about it. And this was like in 2010, I think. Hmm. A little debt crisis. Like, how, like, what's to stop that from happening here? You just never know. But definitely, I mean, a lot of countries do that, dude. They're in debt, got to default somehow. It's fucking, it's fucked up. It's fucked up, you know? And in America, they just do it by printing more money. Yeah, and that's going to catch up with us. I feel like fucking Jerome Powell's like, by the time this is an issue, I'll be dead. So let's just fucking. Big term debt cycle. I would look into it. It's very it's, long. It's really, uh, I don't know, it's really alarming because we've never been in this situation before. A lot of other countries have. And a lot of other cycles have happened before this one, which is why I like the notion of learning other people's research on history. Just learn what's happening now. Yeah. What's going to happen then? No idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Can't Has anything call. like this happened to a country of this scale? I think you might have seen the same stuff happen with Britain and Japan in the 90s. Britain had a reserve currency. I'm not sure if they did a lot of inflationary stuff. Uh, Ray Dalio, Wernerd, good people to look at. But a lot of countries default. A lot, I don't know if a lot of countries in the past with reserve currency have defaulted without doing a lot of not painful stuff to try to alleviate it. This would be so much worse. You didn't have reserve currency? Because, like, if fucking the America defaults, the world defaults. Yeah, that's the that's kind of the big thing. Yeah. Yeah, so... uh Currency outside of government is my fucking my go to. Currently, right now, it's still kind of needs a reserve currency, though. It's I'm still kind of interested about if people reserve currency, like it. What do you mean? Like it needs to be backed by something, or there are currencies that the world 
have trusted throughout the years. Yes. To create goods and services for people. Correct. And having no currency backed or trusted singularly by a lot of people is something that I'm interested to hear people's arguments for. Oh, there will be a reserve currency. If it'll be, I don't know what it'll be. Could be the USDC, could be the China dollar, could be something else. But sooner or later, people are going to wake up and be like, yo, this ain't sustainable. 35% of the dollars printed in the last 12 months. Like there needs to be, there needs to be some scarcity. 